We are given so many riches in Christ. And if that's our definition of can we have that all, we can have everything that he provides for us. But so often when we ask that question, what we're talking about is can I have everything that's about maximizing my own name and glory in this particular season? Sometimes we're even asking just can I do all that God has given me to do? And when you parse those two questions, I think what's helpful to think about is the entire arc of a woman's life. So if you know your motivations are to try to do as faithfully as you can the things that God's given you to do, then the other question is, okay, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, but am I supposed to do all things at the same time is another question. And I think what's helpful for women to understand is there are some times that you just simmer gifts and opportunities on the back burner and you prioritize certain opportunities that are never going to come around again. So you can't look at your toddlers and say, hold on, keep being a toddler for another 20 years because I'm busy with something right now. You've got to make that a priority. You know clearly in scripture, marriage and children are a priority, but there are other gifts and opportunities. So what do you do with them? You simmer them, you keep them on the back burner and you think about how can I do this throughout the entire arc of my life? The problem is, both in the culture and in the church, we only talk about a woman's life in the first 20 to 25 years. So nobody's really saying, okay, post 50, you may have different physical stamina, but you have some rich emotional stamina. And you also know wonderful things about God's faithfulness. So how do you prepare for maximum fruitfulness in that season of life? And it's not a conversation many people are having, but if they did, you'd stop thinking that you had to cram everything in in these first 20 to age 45 or 50 years.